Okay, as you know, I'm Sterling. Now I'm going to talk about the short A sound. The short A sound is a single vowel sound. It is not a diphthong like the long A sound in which your mouth changes shape during a movement, during the pronunciation. During the pronunciation of the short A sound, your mouth does not change shape. So to, to begin, you can consider the sound of A in Spanish, as in cara, mas, salir, cosas así. That's not the short sound in Spanish, but that is a point to start from. The Spanish sound, a, ah, is more relaxed than the short sound, a, ah, in English. So to form this short sound in English, you have to change the shape of your mouth a little bit. You tighten your cheek muscles, and you close your mouth slightly, or a little bit of both. Maybe you can see by watching when I make the sound. Uh, like rock or bat. Rock, bat. Ah. Ah, eh. Ah, eh. I can describe that. And then the other thing you have to do is like do it yourself. Listen to yourself. Make recordings of yourself. Listen to these pronunciation examples repeatedly and try to copy them. So here are some short A sounds spelled with represented in writing in several different ways. Mad, bad, sad, map, bat, rap, snap, trap, and sand, band, handy, handy dandy, brandy, fancy, pram, fan, Cranberry, last, fast, surpass, bass, the fish, B-A-S-S, -S, bass, that's a fish, B-A-S-S, -S, the musical instrument, is a bass, pronounced with long A. Why? Because it is. And here are some double consonant words. Those are all single consonant words. There's only one single consonant after that a and that with nothing following that means a short a sound now here are some double consonant words that are also pronounced the same short a sound this double consonant rule says that the sound of the vowel that comes before the double consonant in this case an a must be short so band B-A-N-N-E-D, the past tense of ban. The past tense of ban. Band. As opposed to another word, band, B-A-N-D, a musical band. The pronunciation is the same. B-A-N-N-E-D, band, or B-A-N-D, band. Crammed. Crammed is the past tense of cram. To cram things together, push them together, cram them, crammed, C-R-A-M-M-E-D, fanned, like to fan something, the past tense of it is fanned, I have been fanned with a fan, strapped, to strap something down, the past tense of strap is strapped, panned, you pan for gold. You put your pan in the river and you look for gold. It's called panning. The past tense of pan is panned, P-A-N-N-E-D. The past tense of ban, to forbid something, is banned. B oh, I talked about that already. B-A-N-N-E-D. That's the double consonant rule. What else do I have here? Other short A sounds, let's see. Okay, yes, when you go from double consonant to a single consonant and vice versa. Can, C-A-N, and canned, C-A-N-N-E-D, both are the short A. 
But if I use an ED ending on the verb cane, the verb to cane is to, is to strike something, to hit something with a cane. That's C-A-N-E-D, caned. Or to get a caning, to be beaten with a cane, C-A-N-I-N-G. But C-A-N by itself is can. But when you add an E-D ending, or you add an I-N-G, generally, I say generally because I think there are exceptions, the A becomes long when you add an I-N-G or an E-D. I think that's all I have to say about short A. Except maybe I'll just add on this video that A also does make something like the ah uh, sound in Spanish as in cada or mas. Uh, for instance, when a word ends in R. Far, bar, car, star, czar, quark, shark, bark, argument, arduous, R as in you are, armor, start, part. And the pronunciation of the R on the end varies by region. In Midwestern U.S., as I speak, the R is kind of distinguished and it's formed with your lower lip, bringing your lower lip close to the lower teeth. In other areas of the country, like in the Northeastern United States, it's like many dialects in the U.K. where the R almost is like it isn't there. Instead of car, it's ka. Instead of bar, it's ba. But that's a different subject, but the A is a factor in there. So that's all for the short A and other sounds of A, and I'll see you in the next video on vowel sounds.